All right. Uh, hi guys. Hello. I'm Mr. Kaur and I specialize in teaching SPM biology. So I just finished my normal form five uh, tuition and I decided to teach you guys what I taught them this week. But I'll summarize it, lah, guys, because my normal class is one and a half hours. But I'll summarize and teach you how to fish instead of giving you the fish. Get it? Okay. So. Let's get right into it. Uh. So in my normal lessons, I'm currently in part 5. Lah. Next week, I'm finishing part 5. The following week, I'm starting chapter 6. Now, why in this topic, uh, as far as function of hormones is concerned, it's quite challenging to memorize. Okay. Uh, the reason being, they have added a lot of functions compared to the old syllabus last time. So there are more things to memorize, okay, compared to KBSM last time. Huh? So, chapter 5, uh, form 5, this is plant response. And, okay, and one of the subtopic is that we have to know how to explain, we have to know the function of phytohormones. Now, first up, phytohormones are plant hormones. Guys, phytohormones are plant hormones. Huh? If they ask you definition, let's say they ask you to explain what are phytohormones. Oh, they are chemical substances that stimulate responses in plants. Okay. And now, we have hormones plants, they also have hormones, but theirs can occur at very low concentrations. Alright? Examples, it's all here. It's all here on the left. Guys, it's all here on the left. Okay? So, so as I said, uh, because my normal lessons are one and a half hours, and, and nowadays students have quite long, uh, sorry, quite, quite short attention span. Uh, so, I try to package it properly for you. Because normally, if I watch YouTube also, I wouldn't want to watch a 30-40 minute video. Lah. Yeah. Okay, so guys, I'll just teach you how to tackle auxin. You can use the same method to apply to the rest. Okay, you can apply to the rest. Huh? Now, these are the functions of auxin. Because semua ini merupakan fungsi-fungsi uh, auxin. Huh? So guys, you have to memorize eight functions. Phototropism, cell elongation, apical dominance. In Malay, we call it dominant apex. Flowering, patinocapi. Guys, delay abscission. Activate cambium growth of lateral roots. So, I will go through a few which I think you need a bit of help. Then I'll straight teach you the, the, the strategy to tackle this. Huh? Because guys, now we are in 2023. I, I told my students, guys, I told my, I think about seven eight hundred uh, from five students. I told them uh, the past one week that now it's 2023. And if you are just memorizing, you study like that, oh, oxy number one, phototropism, number two, cell elongation, number three, apical dominance. That's, you, you are no different from students 23 years ago. Because, guys, so many things have advanced the past 20 over years, but your studying method didn't change from the last 20 years. Don't you think it's a waste? Yeah, everybody got 24 hours, but how come some students can score well, some students don't? You have the same books, probably even the same teachers, but, but the scores are quite different. Guys, it all boils down to how you tackle your studies. Uh. Okay, so I'll explain a few. I'll explain a few which I think you need help. Okay, the first one I think is apical dominance. Guys, apical dominance means this. Uh. You see, uh, let's say this is a plant. <laughs> ah, I don't have enough space. Okay, let's say this is a plant. So normally, uh, such a plant, uh, the sides, they have something called letter, they have bud. Guys, B-U-D, not B-U-T-T, bud. Okay, dalam BM kita panggil tunas. So due to auxins 
due to auxins being high, due to auxin being high in concentration here, all this bud cannot grow. All this cannot grow. Cannot grow. Okay? This is the meaning of apical dominance. Means uh, when there's a high concentration of auxin here, then all this bud cannot grow. Okay. Just so you understand, if I cut off this tip here, sometimes in physical class, my students will make funny noises like, ouch. I say cut the tip, they say ouch. Yeah, I, I'm really not sure what they meant, but... <laughs> okay, so once cut the tip, all this will start to grow, 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 grow. Because why? Again, apical dominance means if there's auxin, the lateral bud cannot grow. That is why if you learn something called stem cutting from primary school, if you learn something called stem cutting, meaning the plant, the plant uh, can reproduce through stem cutting. You cut the stem, let's say you cut the, cut the stem, then the stem, guys, let's say got branches. Uh, okay, let's say got branches. You plant it into the ground. When you plant it into the ground, what happens is, will this part grow? The answer is no, because you have removed all the auxins. Cell elongation cannot occur anymore. Therefore, they cannot uh, grow upwards. They can't grow a new stem from there anymore. Okay, but what happens is, because you have removed the tip, ah, guys, you have removed the tip, sini akan mula bertumbuh. Here will start to grow. That's why when you see you carry out, if you carry out stem cutting, uh, the new shoots will come out from here. Guys, the new shoots will come out from the side. I'll try to show you one picture. Guys, I'll try to show you one picture. Uh, one of the best, one of the best picture is actually mulberry tree. Okay, mulberry tree, uh, uh stem cutting. I'll just extract one picture from Google. This is really good. Copy image. So guys, just to show you. Uh, I'll, just, I'll just put this here. So guys, you can see. Uh, this is a mulberry plant. Okay, this is a mulberry plant. So when I carry out stem cutting, I cut the stem, I cut the stem, then I put it in the ground. Here cannot grow anymore. But the sides grow. Why the sides grow? Because last time got the tip, got auxin, cannot grow. Now don't have, it is able to grow. It's a survival mechanism of the ass, but you don't need to explain. Uh. In exam, you just have to say, presence of auxin inhibit growth of bud. Presence of auxin inhibit growth of the bud. Okay, next. Patinokapi. Now, to understand Patinokapi, guys, I need to ask you, what's your favorite grade? I asked this in my class uh, just now. They said, sir, I like green grapes. I like purple grapes. Then one funny student, a black, uh, I like black grapes. I took a while to think, yeah, that's really black grape. I told them, don't be so racist about grapes. <laughs> I don't care about the color. Although I like green also. La. <laughs> I don't care about the color now. So what I really wanted them to answer is, do they like grapes with seeds? Dengan biji benih? Anggo dengan biji benih? Uh, uh, anggo is uh, uh, grape lah. Hu tau ah. Okay. So the one that I want is this ah. Oh, sir, I love seedless grapes. Okay. Now, patinokapi is the formation of seedless fruits. Why why the grapes are seedless is simply because is simply because they spray auxin on it and the fruit can be developed. Okay. So exam you just need to know patinokapi production of seedless fruits. Okay. And one word, I think this here. Abscission is the dropping of leaves. So, abscission is referring to the dropping of leaves, okay? Dropping of leaves. Keguguran, keguguran down. 
So guys, it's delay. But sometimes students uh like 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 take a while to to adapt to the word, right? So I'll ask this question: Is delay abscission a good or bad thing? The answer is it's a good thing, huh? Because leaves so fall, leaves so fall. Okay, falling of leaves are more accurate. Guys, leaves so fall, but delaying it is a good thing. Delaying it is a good thing. Kita tak nak down Google sebegitu cepat. Okay? Wong pun nak nak saya tu jangan kau raw. Okay, guys. So with that, we are able to try to memorize. Okay. So I, guys, I studied this whole list in form six. Actually, I studied this whole list in form six. And back then, I didn't memorize like that. Guys, if your mom brings you to the grocery store, okay? Let's say brings, bring you to uh, Jaya Grocer, Village Grocer. Then she tell you, oh, hey, can you please help me buy these 10 items? Help me buy butter, la, bread, bread la, uh, um, what? Uh, rice, la, this and that. So she gives you a list of 10 items. Are you able to recall all the 10 very well? The answer is no, because our brain is not meant to memorize a long list of things. You will struggle with the last two or three. So the way that I studied this back then in Form 6 was that I used diagram to... to guys, I used diagram to recall. Okay, So good news is... Last time I had to form my own diagram. Now, if you are here watching this, I form the diagram readily for you. I told my students I prepare all the diagram for them already. Okay, check. Huh? Hey guys, not easy preparing this diagram. It took me like hours. Huh? Many, many hours. Huh? Okay, let's start. So, phototropism. Uh, this is cell elongation. This is cell elongation. Apical dominance. Guys, apical dominance. Flowering. I asked my students, uh, guys, what's this from just now? Sir Grapes. <laughs> yeah, Patino Capi, yeah. Delay falling of leaves, we call it abscission. Delay abscission. Guys, activate cambium. Growth of roots. Okay, one more time. One more time. First point, first point, phototropism. Number two, cell elongation. Number three, apical dominance, flowering, patinocarpy, delay abscission, activate cambium, and growth of roots. Guys, how to know whether a method or a strategy is good? Very simple. If I ask you, if I don't, if I if I just get rid of this, can you tell me a few function of auxin? Oh, I can see, sir, at the top. Phototropism. Number two, elongation of stem. Number three, apical dominance. Then I can see the, I can see the, uh, flower, flowering, uh, the grapes. Okay, patinocarpy. Then the other side, there's a leaf. The leaf is being held onto by the rope, so that it doesn't fall off so fast. This is delay abscission. Then, guys, this is cut into half. Why cut into half? Because activate cambium. I can see the cambium in between xylem and phloem. And then roots. Guys, so much easier to half out. And if you use this method, you can revise in less than one minute. If you revise in less than one minute, you are top one or two percent for the whole country as far as this subtopic is concerned. This this subtopic as in function of auxin. 
So there's a lot of information to study in bio, but sometimes it's how you how you compress it or simplify it. Good students always do a very good job as far as memorizing all this is concerned. Okay, so guys, you can copy this. You can copy this and also draw the diagram. Make sure you label it. So before exam, when you do your revision, just try to recall. Oh, uh, phototropism, apical dominant cell elongation, flowering, I can see on the left. I mean the screen uh, on the left. Uh, then grips, patinocapi, delay abscission, activate cambium and the roots. Revision done. 30 seconds. Your friends take 5 minutes to, to slowly recall test again. 30 seconds. Yeah. The best part is this. Uh. Now you take one minute before exam, you take 40 seconds, 30 seconds, 20 seconds, you hit 10 seconds. So meaning for that subtopic, you are definitely one of the best. So, but cepat dan tepat. I always tell students have to be cepat dan tepat because there's a lot to answer in a short time. Okay. All right, guys. So uh, our session today is uh, a simple one. Please apply the same method to the rest uh, because I don't want to drag the video. Of course, my students, I, I give them all the diagram, uh, easier to, uh, right. but here, here will be a bit draggy. Uh. All right. Okay, guys, thank you. I'll see you in the next lesson. Take care. Good luck.